Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com coming at you with, bam, 2017 Panini Diamond Kings Baseball. Six box, half case break with a chance of $50 of break credit. It's better odds of the all spot sold promo. All right. There you go. Diamond Kings Baseball, number 13, half case break. Thanks, everybody, right here for getting in on the action. Uh, John F. Yes, we will do a fantasy league, a fantasy football league this year, and we do have, we will have prizes. We did one last year. I forgot what we gave away. I think it was just break credit, but it'll probably be break. It'll be easier than giving away boxes, but all right. Let's get all the boxes here. And so there's six boxes on this side. There's six boxes on that side. So we're just going to roll the die. One, two, three, four, five, six with this guy. And it's five. One, two, three, four, five, six. This side will be for next time. Next time will be probably tomorrow. Sharpie. I'm going to melt down if there's no Sharpie here. <laughs> I just what if I just lost it just freaked out all right uh, so this is break 14 slide that over for ultra dia and the diamond kings Three, four, five, six. Got it. All right, so here we go. Good luck, everybody. Two autographs or memorabilia cards per box on average. Vet base does not ship per usual and stuff like this. At the very end of the break, don't let me forget about giving away money. No, I'm totally going to forget. I got to write it down. So I got to randomize that. <laughs> All right, there you go. <laughs> Relax, Colin. We were just joking around too. Put a sticky note? Yeah, I do, I do need to put a sticky note right there. All right, first box. Good luck, everybody. Start off with Tony Lazeri and Artist Proof, Craig Biggio. 96 out of 99, Artist Proof. I don't know if it would, C Shep. Because we sold a lot of spots in that spot randomizer as well. Joey Votto, Gray Frame. Corey Kluber, some sort of variation. Rick Porcello, two color, dual relic. <laughs> Colin, you, if, you, if you can dish it, you gotta be able to take it too. Andrew Benintendi, 226 out of 299, dual relic and autograph. Giving him a chance. Kipnis, 
out of 49. Brown frame. Gray frame right here. And the last bit right here, we got Madison Bumgarner, the motorcycle racer. And Mookie Betts gray frame. Those are not numbered. No, <laughs> you only got timed out, Colin, for five minutes as a joke. Relax. Axel wanted to ban you, but he was joking too. Just having fun. <laughs> I didn't know you were gonna be uh, so worked up over it. I didn't. I didn't. I wasn't gonna ban you for that. That would be silly, obviously. <laughs> All right. Uh, actually, let me sleeve these up too. Well, let's be fair, Colin. After I said, after I asked to not do it, <laughs> you did it again. But that's what I mean. But it, it wasn't like a big deal. I wasn't going to ban you for that. <laughs> just timed you out. And it was just a joke. It's fine. It's not, it's, obviously, if you watch this long enough, you know that we really don't care about that. We like pretend to be all like, oh, yeah, we don't talk about other guys and stuff. But <laughs> obviously, we don't care. <laughs> All right, next box. Next one. Let's get these these short prints. Let's keep right here. It's Ty Cobb gray frame. Mike Trout very. I think those cards that are flipped around are variations. Daniel Murphy dual relic for the Nationals. That'll be for Mike Landel. Corey Kluber potential variation. Carson Fulmer, gray frame. Pee Wee Reese. Goldschmidt, gray frame. There's Andy Pettit, 22 out of 25. Artist proof, that'll go to, that's Yankees edition, right? Yeah, it's Yankees edition. Volleyball Nancy. Madison Bumgarner. Carson Fulmer, nice. Two color dual relic and auto. 62 out of 99. Rookie signatures for the White Sox. TJ with that one. All right, Dano, have a great night. Good to see you, man. Thanks for getting in the breaks today. Hack Wilson. All right, that was the next box. It's a nice Carson Fulmer, T. TJ's probably in bed already. Nice Carson Fulmer. <laughs> 
He has the White Sox in this one. Chris Bexton, this one has a good tiger in it. What tiger is in this one? a lot of orders coming in that's uh oh but i don't think there's steiner spot random.org spots all right next box gray frame <laughs> see chef bullying you gabriel do i need to time him out might have to. Johnny Quito, my enemy, Johnny Cueto, dual relic, going to the Giants. John F. with that one. There you go, John, with the Oppo Joe Mojo. Jake Arietta, gray frame. Joe Musgrove, red frame, 44 out of 99. Joey Votto, gray frame. Andrew Benintendi. Alex Reyes. These are all possible variations, so we'll sleeve those and ship those out to you. Gray Frame Al Oliver. And George Kelly. 83 out of 99 uh, for the Yankees. Yankees? Yankees. Dansby Swanson is your dual relic and autograph. 271 out of 299. Bravos. Alan Murdoch. And perfect game. Joe Jackson. Does that movie hold up, C Shep? Tisha making a training day reference. I haven't seen it in a while. When I saw it a while ago, it was a great movie. <laughs> but if anyone's seen it recently, can they say that, hey, training day holds up even after all these years? Yeah, Paul Conerico has a buyback in Finest. Andy Garner still says it does. All right. Just go watch it again. <laughs> she's like, come on. It's training day, baby. Come on, man. Of course it does. Go watch, I gotta go watch Training Day again. All right, next one. C 
see a gray frame. The Bumgarner might have been a uh, might have been a variation along with that Mike Trout. Gray frame Miguel Cabrera, Benintendi, and he's watching Inception again. I feel like Inception. I feel like much. once you see, once you see it, piece of bat sixty nine out of ninety nine. Carlos Correa, uh, Astros Rex with that. There you go, Rex. Once you see it, I feel like it kind of did the trick. I did watch it a few times though. Moves too much for me. Too much for you? Too much of a mind bender? Two out of forty nine. I, I really love the story though. Like I think. I've had a dream of that. That's crazy. A dream within a dream? Yeah. We've done some breaks like that. A break within a break within a break. Yeah. Jeff Hoffman. <laughs> Dual Relic. 69 out of 299. For the Rockies. That goes to Travis L. Yeah, it's like that Steiner. That's a break within a break within a break. The Steiner break. You got a one box break. Then you do like all these other randomizers. It's nine breaks. All right, there are your two hits for this box. Two more to go. Interstellar, I think, is great. And I just watched, actually, I just speaking of space movies, I just watched Arrival for the first time recently um, on the digital video disc. Uh, actually, no, I, I was a lie. I got it off of a Blu-ray. Watched a Blu-ray version of it, not a digital video disc. I saw it on VHS, and uh, it was really good. Uh, both Arrival and Interstellar are enjoyable. Oh, that's Adam Plutko, by the way, for the Indians. That'll go to Arthur. But yeah, Interstellar, I thought, was pretty strong. Uh, from from what from what I from what I know, they say that the black hole that was depicted in Interstellar was probably the close the closest visual representation of a black hole that you would that you will ever see you know if you could see a black hole i guess that's kind of what it would look like which is kind of incredible like they like they actually went uh christopher nolan and i think his brother too who co-wrote the movie or something like that like went at great lengths to to get the uh to get the scientists and physicists and all that together to create like all these computer projections and models and whatnot to try to create as close as they could possibly get to visually representing a black hole, you know? So, the Pokemon movie says Gabriel. All right, Colin, you just got to let it go, man. It was it was a joke on both of our parts. And I think we can, we can move on, you know. I didn't mean anything by it. I know you didn't mean anything by it. So, let's let's leave it at that. There's Madison Bumgarner. Corey Kluber. 38 out of 49. Nice one, Arthur. Dual relic. Yeah, for Arthur, you got the Indians in this one. There's Mike Trout. Andy Pettit, frame, gray frame. Those aren't numbered. Hack Wilson. Lou Gehrig. Dan... Daniel Murphy was the variation. That insert for Corey Seager will ship. We should be expecting an autograph here. So let's see what it's going to be. Eric Hosmer maybe? Yeah. Two-color dual relic Eric Hosmer. Three out of 49. That goes to the X-Line with the Royals. Hunter Dozier. Uh, out of 99. 97 out of 99 red frame 
That'll go to the Royals DX line. Gray frame. Chris Bryant. Thanks, John, I think. John F. <laughs> All right. <laughs> that's what you get. Oh, you oh, it was her. I see. I was like, oh, that's cool. I guess it's 2017. It's all good. I suppose I don't go that way, but hey. <laughs> no, this goes into a 120 Arthur top loader. Bam. All right, last box, folks. Good luck. Take my sharpie? Oh man, he took my sharpie. I took all the sharpies at the national. Did you really? Yeah. Did you bring? Do you put them in our supply box? No, TSA made you throw them away. TSA made you throw all the sharpies away for reals? Yeah, twenty sharpies. Why did it? Why did TSA nah, not? Man. Oh, I was gonna say, <laughs> what did TSA have a problem with the chart? We talked to Kip about this. Oh no, he doesn't work at TSA anymore, but. All right, last box, ladies and gentlemen. This will be the, no, actually, we gotta do golf. We're gonna do one more break. And then we'll call it a night. And we got Brandon Drury. Jersey Kings, 16 out of 49 for the Diamondbacks. That goes to Arthur, nice Arthur. So Arthur racking up some relics. Chris Sale, gray frame. We got Bat Kings, Ricky Henderson, three out of five. That is Yankees edition of Ricky Henderson. That goes to Volleyball Nancy. There you go, Nancy. Three out of five. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woohoo! That's pretty strong right there. So nice train whistle. Oh, there's uh, Nelson Cruz. Out of 49 for the Mariners. That goes to Josh Ulrich. Jake Arietta. Kirby Puckett. I, I don't I don't I don't put a gun to your head, Joe P. <laughs> Dancy Swanson. Yoan Mankata, 15 out of 25, Catfish Hunter. Oakland edition of Catfish Hunter. I thought he played elsewhere. Uh, that goes to the A's, James S. And let's see, any other numbered cards or anything like that? No, that Josh Donaldson. And Arietta. There you go. And that's it, folks. That was the break. Let's sleeve all these up. That is Yankees. Ricky Henderson never played for the Mets, right? I'm like second-guessing myself now. No, he, he went A's, Yankees, A's, Blue Jays, A's, Padres, Angels, A's, Mets. I'm going to look at the checklist now. He played for the Mets for like two seasons, but that this possibly this can't possibly be Mets edition. Right, 
Sorry, Nancy. We we got We got to go. We got to go through this exercise here. Ricky Henderson, Bat Kings out of five. Whew. New York Yankees. If they put him on the like the Mets would be so random if they had him from there. From there, the Yankees make sense. All right, Yankees. It's confirmed, Nancy. That's it, folks. That was your break. Oh, fifty dollars of break credit. See, that's why I put that there. Let me sleeve this up. So someone's going to win $50. Then we will move on to the next break, which is the last break of the night, which will be golf. Exquisite golf. We have only two boxes left from that case that we popped open. All right. Good luck, everybody. Let's go to random.org. I don't even have random.org open. All right, there's random.org. There's the dice roller. There's that right there. Let's get everyone's names here from Arthur down to Mike. This is, and this is a winner take all. Person on top will get $50 of break credit. Four and a five, nine times for the list. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and ninth and final time. Arthur! Boom! There you go, Arthur. <laughs> yeah, did I do it right? Yeah, after nine times, Arthur is on top. Finally winning break credit. It's still not an all-spot sold promo, but you have better odds of this one anyway. All right, there you go. Congrats, Arthur. Uh, thank you, everybody, for getting into this break. The other half of the case is already in the store, so check it out. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com. We'll see you next time. Gabriel's saying it's rigged just like Arthur would have if he didn't win. All right, see you guys.